Hey everyone, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a what's for dinner video. I am sharing with you guys four things that I made for dinner this past week and they came out really good. So the first thing I'm going to be starting with are these fajita chicken fries. This is actually an inspiration from uh, Mom's Messy Kitchen. I'll have her channel linked down below. But I'm just getting started with some seasoned fries from Great Value and I'm putting that in my air fryer. I'm not sure what temperature I did or the time. I'm sure everyone's air fryer is different anyway, so just cook them to your liking. And then I put a pat of butter into my small frying pan, and I'm going to be putting these Purdue fajita chicken strips into the frying pan and as i cook these up and crisp them up i'm going to be taking my spatula and i'm going to be kind of like chunking them up as they cook because these strips are so soft they're so easy to get a, your spatula through so i just didn't feel like taking out the cutting board to cut them up and then once those are nice and crispy i took them out of the frying pan and set them aside so that way i could make a queso with the frying pan so i put some milk in there i would say i did probably half to two-thirds cup of milk and i just heated that up and then once it was warm i added salt pepper garlic salt cumin and paprika i think that's all i added for seasonings and then i added some white american cheese this is something i learned from love missy xo i'll have her link channel link down below as well she makes her queso with white american so i had, i think i did three or four slices of american and i just let those melt into the milk and then i also added some shredded cheese as well and this is just the great value pizza blend cheese i really like it, it has cheddar and mozzarella in it and then i just stirred that up and let it thicken and just become a nice creamy queso style sauce and then i also added a splash of the taco bell hot sauce that you could get from walmart and that just added a little extra flavor to the sauce and then i just take my fries and i put them on a sheet pan lined with foil and the insert of the air fryer came out and then i just topped it with the chicken i added some more of that pizza blend cheese on top just for extra cheesy goodness and then i poured the queso sauce over the top and i don't remember what temperature i baked this at i think i just did 350 for like 15 minutes just to make the cheese melt and have it you know get all crispy i didn't want the fries to get soggy so i felt like extra time would help with that and these came out so good you guys next thing i wanted to experiment with my instant pot so i made instant pot jambalaya i am using pork for this usually i would use kielbasa and in fact i prefer it with kielbasa so i do recommend that but i didn't have any on hand but I did have this, uh, these pork strips I buy, I bought in bulk at BJ's, and I'm just cutting some up, and then I'm putting it in the instant pot on the saute function, and I'm just seasoning that up with salt, pepper, garlic salt, paprika, and some cumin, and then once it is slightly brown, I added the water amount that is on the back of the Zatarain's jambalaya box, and then I added just the rice and the seasoning to it stirred it together and then i put it on manual pressure for 12 minutes obviously make sure your vent is to ceiling and then i did a natural pressure release you'll know the pressure is out because the little uh i don't know what the heck to call it doodad let's just call it a doodad is down and i lifted up the lid and that's what it looked like i just took a fork and fluffed up the rice and kind of mixed the seasonings in and this actually ended up being really good. Do I think you necessarily need to make it in the instant pot? No, it's just as easy in a frying pan. But I just topped this with cheese, Taco Bell sauce, and banana peppers, and it was so good. And then the next thing I'm going to be making is this chicken pot pie that came out really good. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a turkey pot pie. I forgot. And I'm getting started by making a roux. A roux is equal parts butter and flour. You could use any fat actually i just prefer to use butter and i just get that 
all combined you want to cook it slightly so that way the raw flour taste comes out and then I'm going to be adding some chicken broth I make my own chicken broth if you guys want me to do a video on that like a dedicated video I will but I just added a jar of chicken broth I'd say it was probably equivalent to a cup maybe a cup and a half and then once I feel like that has thickened slightly I'm going to just add a couple splashes of milk just to give it a little creaminess. And then I'm going to season it with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic, salt. And I think that's everything I added to the sauce. And then I am going to add a bag of bird's eye mixed vegetables and stir that in. And then I'm going to be adding my... Uh, turkey this was left over from Thanksgiving so it's already cooked and I just used my fingers because I didn't feel like getting out a cutting board to chop it up so I'm just breaking apart with my fingers and adding it to the mixture and then I just give it a good stir make sure all the seasonings are right and then I'm going to be taking my casserole dish I should have put this in a pie shell but I thought it was too much filling for a pie shell my pie shell is a little bit shallow so i put in this corning ware casserole dish and then i just took a pillsbury pie crust just pre-made i do know how to make homemade pie crust if you guys want me to do a video on that i can but i just usually just buy the pre-made ones and i just make it fit into the casserole dish and then i cut some slits into it and then I'm going to be taking an egg white, whisking it up with a fork just to break it up a little bit. And then I'm going to be brushing the top with it. And then I took some Lowry seasoned salt and I sprinkled that over the top. I think that just made the crust just give a good flavor. I love seasoned salt. I will put it on basically anything. And then that's what it looks like when it came out of the oven. We just ate it with a broccoli cheddar nor pasta side. And it was so good. Definitely going to be making pot pie again. And then the last thing I'm going to show you guys is this pot roast. I did the famous Mississippi pot roast or whatever it's called. Tried it for the first time and I think I'll never go back to another pot roast recipe. This was so good. So I just sprayed out my crock pot liner and this is like a three pound chuck roast. And I'm taking an au jus gravy mix. This is just store brand. It worked fine. And I'm also going to be taking a ranch seasoning packet. I actually only used half of the ranch because my sister said when she heard her boyfriend tried this that it just tasted too much of like ranch powder. So to stop that, I used half the packet and then I also dissolved the powders into some water. Usually the recipe doesn't call for water because the beef will make its own water. But I just, I wanted to make sure that it didn't taste like powder. So I just dissolved it in like half a cup of water, poured it over the top. Then I'm taking banana pepper rings. Usually I think you're supposed to use pepperoncini, but I didn't have any. And I just put a few because Cody isn't big on banana peppers. And I did put a splash of the juice. Then I cooked it on high for six hours. And this was so good. I froze the rest of the meat so we could do French dip with it because I think it's going to be great for that. But I just served this with peas and carrots and mashed potatoes. And it was so good. And that is everything for this What's for Dinner video. I've been really enjoying making these. So if you guys want to keep seeing these on my channel, then please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can just go ahead and click that little red thing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.